All right, hey Halloweeners. Well, my voice clip did not save on my original video. So what I'm doing here is going over a couple of things that you need. Obviously your skeleton is one of them. Any size will do. You also need a 0.7 mil plastic tarp. Kind of, you would find it in the paint section uh, at Home Depot or Walmart. It's like 99 cents. And you would need a heat gun. This one has two settings. I got it at Home Depot. I think it was like 20 bucks. And you're also going to need... Looks like I did some honey wood finish. I use plastic gloves for that because stain will stain your hands. And I do finish it off with matte finish. That was a recommendation from someone else who has done these. My video skips around a little bit because it was like eight minutes long and I'm really trying to shorten that thing down. Um, I try not to do two, more than two or three layers when I wrap my um, my skeleton. I also try not to wrap his arms to his body. If you're going for a mummified look, um, that works out great, and you definitely want to use a lot of a lot of that plastic, because it will melt and it will break apart. Because it is a 0.7 mil. I guess you could use a little bit of uh, thicker plastic, um, but for the look I I like to get, which is kind of that burnt burnt skin, like he spent a little bit of time in the fire. Um, I do wrap his arms separately because I don't want this stuck to his side. I do one layer on his head, um, but you can always add after you see how it goes the first time around. It's kind of trial and error. That's how I've been doing this. Um, that's kind of what he looks like before I hit him with a heat gun. Be very, very careful with your heat gun. It gets hot. Um, I don't have this on one of my plastic tables. I flipped up an upside down garbage can and put a piece of... Uh, wall that I had left over <laughs> underneath it because I don't really care if that burns. Um, I'm using a little screwdriver uh, that I kind of use to poke around on my projects. I like to poke holes in their eyes as I'm doing this with the heat gun. Um, that way their eyes kind of open up a little bit. And I do the mouth because um, I don't want, we really don't have skin that covers our, our mouth per se. But I guess if you're melting in a fire you you might. So I'm not really sure what, oh, not sure what my video was doing there, but um, at this point, it looks like one of the arms was starting to get stuck. I think I my next step is getting my my knife to cut that arm off, um, or just separate the plastic. Do be very careful, especially with these smaller skeletons, because they are plastic. Um, on this guy, you'll see it in a little bit. I kind of melted his, his hand and his wrist a little bit too much. Um, but once you do the front side, you want to flip them over, but I give them a couple minutes to cool down, because that plastic skeleton and the plastic wrap that you put around it gets extremely hot from that heat gun so you do not want to touch that stuff um i think i took a break for a little while came back there's this hand that i kind of over melted but it's all right i positioned him how i wanted him um and his little ribs are bent up uh again you'll see i put plastic gloves on because i, I stained my hands before and it takes forever to come out i use a little bit of a darker stain so i can get that really burnt skin look um, again, this is, this is messy. I wouldn't really wear any clothes that you like because this will splatter as you're doing this. You just want to do a, a quick little kind of a, just a dirty coat. There's no detail involved and it's a super quick, slightly messy project. I do have a, a used rag that's sitting there. I think I, I bought like a five pack of rags at Home Depot. I think it was like $4 or something like that. Um, but if not, if you have an old t-shirt laying around that you don't need, or an old towel, because you, you want to wipe this stain off, because he, he looks, he's looking pretty dark there. The good old Amazon box is a good backup for not getting stain all over the place. So I'm just kind of wiping him off. Not too rough with him, um, but you see it takes off that, that thick, that thicker gloss that's on there. Now it will get in between the cracks. Um, I have a lot of cracks in mine because I do like that burnt, like I said, that burnt skin look. Um, another crafter mentioned to me to use this matte finish uh, to spray. It kind of, it really makes the skin look a little more like, uh, like skin. It's not shiny because unless you're at the beach and you put on some oil, you're not really shiny. So this shows the matte versus the non-matte. And then we also have a the finished product there. And that's one of my bigger...